As you all know, there are three new perks in the game Winter, the Apostle, Crosslink, and Drifter. Each of them have their own playstyles, and in this video, we will be covering a few of them and what you can do with some of these tips. And again, everything I speak is not fact, only some of it. <laughs> so, take all of this with a grain of salt. First up is everyone's favorite trapper, the Crosslink. That's right, take spiders, blitzers, everyone else, you're, you're out. You're absolute now. I'm messing. Anyways, for the pros, they have faster trap deployment, increased pit fire accuracy, and faster movement speed. But they do have two cons, which are pretty big. Reduced defense and max stamina, basically they're good with their hands, but they skipped a leg day one too many times. And although our crosslink is good with their hands, they also suck at throwing stuff. I mean, to be fair, it's a pretty good throw. But your knives do have quote unquote bullet drop. So be cautious of that. Calculate that into your throws. And although it does seem most logical to throw your knives like from wall to wall, you can actually put them on the ground and the enemies will not step over them. They do not have as much common sense as we do in real life, so abuse that. You can also combine the crosslink's wires with throwing daggers to get the same effect against enemies as if they were unaware of your presence, aka it one-shots most enemies. I haven't tried this for soldiers, but I'm guessing it only works against enemies that you can normally one-shot with your throwing knives. The crosslink's wires also deals bleeding damage, so over time, if you're just running around not trying to take any damage or you're low, you can't just run around and the enemies will eventually die to bleed and the damage to take from running into your wires. And you can use crosslink knives defensively, it's actually pretty awesome, and if you're into some kind of like gory stuff that you probably shouldn't be into, you can also decapitate slash delim enemies, it's so much fun, so satisfying. But if you are into that, I suggest talking to a therapist or maybe seeing a doctor, because that may or may not be normal. Next is the Drifter, who is an edgier Ezio with a bit of Batman inside it. They have increased melee damage, are immune to cripple, and are immune to exhaustion, but they have heavily reduced recoil control, slow reloading, and reduced max health. So in a way, they are a master at hand-to-hand -hand combat and can go invisible with smoke bombs, but just like Batman, who doesn't really use guns, probably wouldn't be that great at controlling a gun on his first try. I don't know, he's Batman though, he can do whatever he wants. The Drifter can hide from most enemies, with some exceptions, besides the Sludge Queen. Ah, oh, <laughs> sucker! Now you can't see me. But can I actually lose him? Based on my experience, you can't vault when you have dread out, which is the knife. But you can loot while you are cloaked. I am just gonna open this real quick. Please, please just stay there. When you go invisible with the drifter, you are slow for a little bit before you actually go invisible. So be careful. Make sure there's some space between you and the enemy. Otherwise, you will get domed. It's embarrassing. You'll make all of the drifters look bad. Don't do that. With the Drifter's Knife, you can Light Attack or Heavy Attack. The Light Attack, you can use up to 4 times, dealing 90 damage each time. I have no idea if it's affected by Stimulants, but I know it's not affected by Traits. And if you right click, you can do 100 damage, but it does use the rest of your ability. So, use it in a pickle. It will also make you leap, so you could even use it as an escape option if you've forgotten to use your Anchor. And it supposedly heals for 10, either when you kill the enemy or hit the enemy. I have yet to confirm. You can try it out for yourselves. The other cool side of being a drifter is that you can teleport. So you can teleport by holding F, letting go of F, once you've teleported correctly. If you hold F the whole time, you will get teleported back to where you just teleported from. And you can run around, stab some people, and get out by pressing F and or letting that meter run out. I typically like to press F because I just feel safer that way. And you can side as much of drifter because they are immune to exhaustion, which is honestly my favorite part about this class perk thingy magic. I don't like it as much, but being able to slide as much as I want is probably my favorite part about it. Now we have the most responsible Apostle parent, but they do send the kids out to fight for them. Maybe they aren't that responsible. The Apostle has increased max stamina, increased max health, immune to fracture, and Theorgia's hand. Uh, that's how I'm going to say it. It's probably said a different way, but that's what I'm going with. Cons, reduced movement speed, inability to aim ranged weapons, reduced recoil control, and Theorgia's hand. They probably can't aim the weapons because they have a cramp that I'm not going to talk about, um, but uh, if it has to do with the hand, that's the cramp I'm talking about. As the Apostle, you have the melee weapon, which is Theorgia's hand, which you cannot scrap, unfortunately, and your ability, which is to summon Shadow Hunters, also known as Dave's, or Dave. You can tell Dave who to target by pressing and holding F, depending on what your ability is charged at. If it's at 100%, you want to hold. If it's not, then you can just press it, and you can throw it at enemies, which condemns them. And the knife does have a certain amount of drop, just like the crosslink, but not as stress. Be cautious, though. If there's another Apostle on your team, and they mark someone, then your Dave will go for that one. And if you mark somebody, their Dave will go for that one, that you marked. Dave takes a ton more damage from melee scavs than ranged scavs, so uh, don't send him into a fight he can't win. He'll just disappear like, like Spider-Man from Infinity War. Your ability to summon Dave and or another Dave, you can have two at a time, gets fully recharged if a teammate dies, so team kill with caution. Again, you have to mark enemies by holding and pressing F, or by heavy attacking enemies with the Orgia's hand, which lets you get HP from enemies when you kill them with the Orgia's hand, or when Dave kills them. Separate melee reskins, such as like the Tanto, 
do not work. You are also not affected by the hanger monster slash shadow demon. It will taunt you and come towards you, but it will not make you uh, want to unalive yourself. And the saddest part about the shadow hunters, or Dave's, is that they can't trigger traps. But what if I just want to troll a friend or teammate by letting Dave run through it? That'd be awesome. Dumb, but it'd be awesome. And I want it in the game, but it doesn't have to be in the game. It, it would just be really fun. And that's it. Those are all the tips I have for the Drifter, Crosslink, and Apostle Parent. I don't know why I like that term a lot more than just Apostle. Mainly because it's usually how it feels like when you're playing Apostle. Anyways, I hope this helped. Hope you enjoyed. And I hope you have a great rest of your day. Bye-bye. Subscribe. You don't have to. But you should.